God to celebrate in memory the life of Brother Braylon the one counsel of whose life we thank God for and we thank this family for an opportunity to stand before you as your official. I'm Pastor Ellie Hart, Sr. of New Zion Missionary Baptist Church, Fairfield, Texas. We want to keep this family in mind as we go forth in celebration. Keep in mind the moment of the heart. It's already been said that they didn't want it long and drawn out, so we're going to try to accommodate them with that. It may not be you now, but one day it'll be you. We want to show them love, but then we want everything peacefully and in order. Amen. I see we have here a solo. Change me by Tamil man. We have Old Testament and New Testament scripture. Deacon, I believe, Deacon. Calvin Clerkley. Yours truly, Pastor Hart. Ralph Comfort, yours truly. So low walk around heaven by Patty LaBelle, followed by resolutions. Resolutions we have uh, Sharon Alexander, who's over the neighborhood watch. Expressions of love, amen. Expressions of love, amen. I'm going to mention it now. It says two minutes. We're going to try to honor those two minutes, possibly give them some change back on that. Amen, amen. So I'm, I'm mentioning it now so you can get your minds and your hearts made up. Amen. If you're going to say anything or not. Amen. When, when, it when the time comes, amen, we'll take our positions uh, that's designated. And don't wait until the last minute to decide you want to say something. That's why I mentioned it now. Amen. Remember, we're trying to keep the family. Amen. In mind. Amen. Help them through this. Amen. We're not here to, to linger or, or, or to burden them. Amen. We're here to encourage them, to comfort them. Amen. Amen. To show our love for them. Amen. So get that together now. Followed by the obituary, God provides red salary while time of man plays. And we have a eulogy. Amen. We have a eulogy. Amen. So we go back to resolutions now. We're not looking for another sermon. We're not looking for another eulogy. Amen. We're going to let the eulogies. Amen. Pastor James Plummer of Grace New Beginning. Gans, Oklahoma, take care of that. Amen. Then we have a recession of family and friends. Amen. Amen, amen. By orders of the family, we're going to have a, a crowning ceremony right now. And after the crowning ceremony, if you want to view the body, you need to view it because the body will be removed from the chapel. Amen. So we'll have a crowning ceremony now at, the, at the family's request, and we'll come back with the order of service as it is printed. Amen. Thank 
everybody a hand of praise right there. Amen. This is a homegrown celebration. Amen. You want to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, we're here to give God praise. Hallelujah. I almost felt the Holy Ghost. I had to watch where I was. Y'all pray for me.
They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. May God have a blessing to the readers and hearers, and most of all the doers of his holy word. Amen. Let us bow. Father, it's a few of your creation, Father God, that we have come together in the name of Jesus. In spite, Father God, of the moment we Yet, Father God, I want to say thank you. For, Father God, all things, Father God, are controlled by you. We just want to encourage and comfort the family, Father God, and let them know that you're God that's one that's all wise. And a God of never making a mistake. Let them know, Father God, that you have appointed, Father God, this time. And we just ask in Jesus' name that in the midst of it all, Father God, that you encourage them, that you be their shield, Father God, in, in the midnight hours. And we ask, Lord, in Jesus' name that you be their comforter. But Father God, let them know that you sent such a one, Father God, as the Holy Ghost to comfort them, Father God, in all truth. And we thank you for being a God that's perfect in all of your ways. And we thank you, Lord, that being perfect, Father God, that all things are made complete, Lord, with thee. And we just ask, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that in the darkest hour, Father God, in the time of trouble, that you, Father God, be the one to drive, Father God, every tear from every eye. We ask, Lord, in Jesus' name, that you put upon their hearts, Father God, and in their minds, Father God, the good times. Let them know, Lord, that they're not alone, Father God, but you with them in the midst of it all. Now, Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus, Father God, the soul, Father God, of Brother Braylon, Lord, that it found rest in the bosom of Abraham. 
of them, Father God. And let them know, Father God, that they can be on thy very home. We thank you for being a God, Father God, that's not by us. But a God that accepts all of us and receives us unto yourself. We thank you, Lord, for the saving of souls. And we pray that the soul of Braylon, Father God, was saved by thee. We thank you for such a life, Father God. He seemed to be so prosperous, Lord. But it's you, Lord, that brought about prosperity. It's you, Lord, that will lift up, Father God. But we thank you, Lord, that there's a place called glory. That we have a home, Father God, in heaven. That Jesus one day went away when he rose from the grave and prepared. Prepared for those that love you. I ask, Lord, in Jesus' name, that you just wrap your arms of mercy, your arms of grace, Father God, around the family and friends. Be with them, Father God, every step of the way. In Jesus' name we pray, Lord, and we ask it all. Amen. 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 We just have to know that the Lord will be with us. Amen. In the darkest of the night, amen, Mother. God will be with you. God's too good of a God. He's too broad of a God. Amen. I say it again. But he's too broad of a God that, that he can't reach us wherever we may be. Amen. The Lord will be with you. All you have to do is call him. I know you know it. I've been knowing you all my life. I know you know it. Amen. Just call him. And the Lord will, will be there. Amen. At this time, we have a solo. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand. Amen. God is in the house. Amen. I can feel the spirit moving. Amen. I know we're going to hear a word from it. Amen. A word of encouragement for the family. Amen. He is in the house. Amen. Amen. We may not be in the church house. Amen. But the church is within us anyway. Amen. Amen. So God is with us wherever we go. We all family. Amen. Amen. And invited me. Amen. Solo walk around heaven. Amen. By Patty LaBelle. Amen. And followed by revolutions from Sister Sharon Alexander. Amen. Amen. God bless you.
Is the check my button? Yeah.
said, I don't know about in Atlanta. I said, I tell you what, you can be my guest. And I, I talked him to get on the plane. And he tell you, he was very, very, very not ready to get on the plane. But I just want to say to the family, thank you for letting me borrow him. That's a part of my family.
mentioned was Paul, amen. Sister mentioned was Paul, amen. I always often, often say, I say that, 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 that God, he, he, he allows us to borrow things, amen. Braylon belonged to him from the start, amen. He just gave it to you, amen. Cynthia and Wendell, amen. He just let y'all borrow it for a while, for a while, amen. And that for a while is just until he called him back home. Amen, amen. He has now called him, amen. I had a question to ask about uh, uh, the three scores in 10. Now, not everybody is see. Why is it that everybody don't be seen? The three scores in 10, amen. And I, I brought up the fact, you know, about how man has changed things. So, amen, we were actually created here, amen, created to be here forever, amen, without dying, amen, but because of sin, Amen. Even Methuselah died. Amen. In 969 years in the day of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So, so it, it's not that God is not yet still good. Amen. God just seemed fit that time had arrived. Amen. He's yet still good. Amen. He just let you bother. Amen. He was just bothered. Amen. At this time. Amen. Amen. We now have our obituary that's read silently. Amen. Most probably have already read it. Right. Amen. But you have a minute to read it silently.
much out. But if you don't know the Lord and Savior, you're going to fall in your sin. I'm asking you right now not to leave this place, this time, this moment. Leave this place and not know what you're going to fall in your sin. I don't know about y'all, but the best thing I can invite anybody is to my Lord and Savior. Because if I don't invite you to my Lord and Savior, and you leave out of this building, I might not get that chance anymore. So I don't know. Can I get y'all help? Let's open the door to the church. Because for the simple fact, Jesus hung, bled, and died on an old rugged cross for your sins and mine. And on the third day morning, he rose up and declared all power in his hands. But he's sitting at that door right now, knocking. He said, will you let me come in? If you let me come in, I'll come suck with you. So if you don't know my Lord and Savior for the part of you, don't leave today. Because Braylon made that decision a long time ago. See, me and Braylon had a few times in common. He believed in Christ. He gave his life to Christ. He showed Christ in his life. And he let Christ lead him. Now see, that's a hard thing for men to do. Come on. That's a hard thing for men to do. It's a hard thing for us to ask for directions. Oh, I, oh, I see all the men they ain't gonna say that. <laughs> we will continue to go on the circle. And still stop. Hey, how do I get to this place right here? This is how you get to See Jesus. You come down here. You give your life to Christ. And let him know that you are a sinner. And you are a, a nothing but filthy rat. Because the Bible declares that a just man falls seven times. So if a just man falls seven times, who am I? Who am I? I'm just a sinner. Saved by grace. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Will you come today? If you don't know where to put the part of your sin, if you raise your hand, I'll meet you in the eye. I'll meet you in the eye. Everybody here is here for the remembrance of Brandon, the love that he showed my own. Brethren wouldn't have had that love if it wasn't for Christ Jesus. Is there anybody here today? Anybody? If you want to just rededicate your life to Christ, best time to do it is now, not tomorrow. Because tomorrow is not coming out the number. Brethren is a prime example. Wasn't nobody, Brethren wasn't sick. It was just his time. Because God don't make mistakes. That's all it is.
God will be able to rejoice and come together with his brothers and sisters in Christ. Like I said, if you did not get a chance to see Brandon after the family leave out, then we'll bring him back here and give you a few moments. But to my family, it's going to be some rough days. But when they get rough, just call on the name of Jesus. And he will make it a whole lot easier.